Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about explosive ammo. We will be talking about a few things which includes how it works and in which situations, which weapons are best, why you should use it more often, some tips and tricks to help you make the most of it, and finally we are going to talk about some balance changes done by Crytek. Let's get started. First of all, we are going to start with how does explosive ammo work. Explosive ammo deals damage in two ways, the direct hit from the projectile, impact and detonation, as well as the secondary splash damage caused by the sharpnel, which is calculated based on the point of its impact from the target, with damage decreasing as the distance increases. Splash damage is varied for different weapons with both the impact and the splash damage reducing significantly for guns like uppercut. I should make few things clear before I go any further. Number one is splash damage calculation. After experimenting with the explosive ammo, I could say that the splash damage could be split into three possible damage zones, from close, medium to far. Their size varies in expanse depending on the caliber explosive round you are using. Close but natural damage ranges from 328 to 32 HP upon being hit with a range of 3 meter. Medium potential damage ranges from 26 to 28 with range of 6 meter and far potential damage is 15 to 20 HP with a range of 8 meter. Remember this calculation only provides approximate idea on the damage after several experimentation so you get the sense of the damage expectation as per the range. Now we're going to talk about which situations is the explosive ammo most suited for. Explosive ammo primary purpose was to ensue chaos in the form of destruction, using the environment variables to your advantage, causing all kinds of sensory disorientation and mayhem directed towards the enemy. The most exciting prospect was its splash damage, or sharpnel. You could easily flush out enemies hiding behind a corner or holding a certain angle in a compound. Enemies caught in the open are easy prey for the explosive ammo. Since the explosive ammo bounces off the walls, fanning is very effective when an enemy is pinned against the wall. So overall any open space and close compounds when the enemy has its back against some sort of a solid object surrounded is best suited for explosive ammo. Application of explosive ammo is graded in its ability to cause extensive area damage using the already existing utilities like barrels, lanterns, oil splatters, etc. Explosive ammo works great as a secondary option since you don't necessarily even have to hit your target. You can easily finish him off using splash damage. I prefer to use my primary ammo to shoot the enemy first then finish him off with my secondary explosive ammo since I don't have to accurately hit my second shot. Number 3 we are going to talk about the drawbacks of using explosive ammo. It's very important that we actually discuss this. Now explosive ammo do have a lot of drawbacks. Number 1 which is the most obvious is obviously the price point. It is expensive expensive to some extent however i think money making is not a big deal in hunt showdown so i'm just gonna take that out of the consideration we're gonna talk about more pressing drawbacks which is the bullet velocity and the damage drop off on longer distances and then we have the ammo shortage you can only carry seven to eight rounds and nine nine rounds for springfields and seven rounds for martini henry so you can actually guess that you are kind of limited on the ammo and also you can only resupply using the special ammo boxes. It's probably the most concerning one is the lack of penetration or no penetration at all. Explosive ammo does not have any penetration whatsoever. That means even your normal uh, compact ammo if is capable of having some sort of penetration damage and explosive ammo just has zero also which gives you an idea that it's not really great if you want to wall bang someone however despite all the drawbacks explosive ammo is very good and we'll see why in a while now we're gonna look at the weapon ratings this is how the explosive guns are rated as per the splash damage and the base damage and with other things in mind 
First of all, we have the Nitro Express Rifle, which has big damage and very high velocity. Medium area of effect when it comes to the splash damage. And then then we have the Martini Henry, which offers big damage, big area of effect, and somewhat average velocity. And then we have on the number third Springfield, along with its variants, keep decent velocity, higher than Martini Henry, and increased base damage at the cost of reduced weaker area of explosive effect, but decent enough to force players hiding in the corner. Uppercut offers reduced damage, reduced area of effect, and decent velocity, but its fanning and dual wielding give it a considerable uh, boost. Now we're going to talk about tips and tricks for the explosive ammo. You can break doors and windows very easily. You can destroy barrels with one shot, ambushing an entire squad even if used properly. You can set up sticky bomb traps at the extraction point if it's a boat and using the splash damage of the explosive ammo and the alert trip mines placement you can have a great payday if you use properly and with patience. You can use it to ignite the oil scattered on the ground, although it only works with Martini Henry and Nitro Express Rifle. You can use it to block some passages in different tricky situations. You can also use it to destroy crows. That will definitely not help, but who cares? Screw crows. Explosive shots can go through choke bomb cloud, which is very important, since sometimes the enemy puts the choke bomb cloud in order to cause some sort of disorientation so you cannot see properly. Explosive ammo is very capable of detonating any kind of dynamite bomb upon impact because of its splash damage which can be used aggressively. You don't have to cook dynamite bombs anymore, you can just throw them and shoot your explosive shot making the bomb explode in instant. Risky but rewarding. Another application of this is big dynamite bundle and explosive round combination to kill any boss. You'll have to time it as well. Now we're going to talk about some good loadout combinations for the explosive ammo. Of course obviously it's up to you but I'm going to just put some aspect and some examples out there just for you to see that what kind of good combinations can you make with the explosive ammo. You have the Nitro Express Rifle with Uppercut and remember when making a combination or a loadout with the explosive ammo, do not take all ammo type as explosive. No, not only is it the waste of money, it's not guaranteed and it's not really great. At least you should take some kind of other ammo along with it. That's the best way to actually use the explosive ammo since you have to use explosive ammo as a secondary and as a backup. Martini Henry with uppercut or double uppercut, quartermaster required obviously. And then we have the Winfield Vandal with Springfield Compact Explosive. Sparks and uppercut with fanning explosive, although uppercut explosive fanning is quite unstable, but should be used in close quarters or when an enemy is pushed behind a wall. So the splash damage bounces from any kind of solid surface. There are plenty of other combinations, let me know down in the comments what combinations do you prefer. And now we're going to talk about how to counter or play against explosive ammo. There are plenty of counter strategies. The easiest one is to take a two point trait called Bulwark, which allows you to take way less damage. Now 50% increase from 25%. Other good options are to always engage them from above or don't stick close to the walls behind you. Engaging explosive ammo from long range is also very effective since the bullet velocity is low for explosive ammo. And then we're gonna finally talk about the explosive ammo balance changes that the Crytek has introduced uh, lately in the test server. After the 1.6 update, the splash damage is reduced to some extent, 30 to 40%, while the base damage is somewhat increased, which is more of a balancing change, the ratio between the direct hit and the splash damage is swayed more to the direct side. Overall, there won't be change in the total max damage of the ammo, but more of the damage now comes from the direct hits to the player, so it rewards accuracy and you will, will, you will want to be hitting the player with the round to be effective. This change came after heavy criticism from fans, primarily the console players, since it was much more of a problem for them. Also with the buff to bulwark trade making it absorb 50% more damage now whose price should at least be 3 or 4 trade points instead of 2 points, it's clear that explosive ammo is clearly not as powerful as it used to be but still packs quite a punch if used properly. 
Another balancing change done was the damage of dynamite, wax dynamite and red barrel damage pumped to 750 from 500 since having bulwark made it almost impossible to die from the red barrel or dynamite bundle. I feel like whenever Crytek tries to balance something, they end up making it far worse. Hopefully these changes are still in the test server, so there is a chance that we might still see some sort of change. That's all for this video, let me know down in the comments about your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.